Hey guys, it's Zach here with System Test 31, and today I am joined by the requester of the system. That's your safety. SCR safety is here. So um, we're going to quickly do a walk around <laughs> and uh, take a look at the devices we have set up. So uh, we have a... We tried to do like all wheel lock max, or man, I can't talk. We tried to do wheel, all wheel lock max, so everything would be in sync. Right. Except um, we have the simplex test switch here <laughs> to start out. <laughs> um, that was when we tried to have one simplex device up and it didn't work out so well. Um, mm -hmm. but that's okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be testing any detectors today, so those are just going to be the same. Um, same CO detector in the panel and everything's all over here the same. Uh, up here by the panel we have the Wheelock RSS. This is the multi candela version. It's set to 75 candela. Um, so we'll move our way on down here to, by the window again, as he was saying, we have a, an all Wheelock system. Um, so we have the Wheelock exceeder up here by the window. Um, this is, you know, horn strobe. Um, all of these are set to sync as well, which is very nice. And down here, I'm excited for this one. Um, we have the... Firelight BG6. That's going to be fun. That's going to be a great one. Um, so that's something we haven't used yet. And I, I don't think... I'm, if I'm posting this video on Monday, which is my normal upload schedule, then this is going to be um, before I actually do a full introduction of that. But you'll see that. They'll see that in another video. Head over to the closet. We have... The ceiling mounted Wheelock Exceeder Horn Strobe up here, um, which is also set to sync and 75 candela as well. We um, originally had a 49 and a 3 there, but it didn't end up working really well. Right. We had some problems getting it to sound off for us. The device still works, the panel still works, it's just uh, the the converter I have, I seem to have overused a little bit, and it's and it dropped down on us. Um, the enunciator's over here, so we'll reset here at the end of the video. And then, of course, we have the security system, but I have that disabled right now, just so it doesn't beep for the whole video. Uh, so, Grant, I'll let you do the honors. What should we start with today? Nice, thanks. I think we should definitely do that VG6 first. All right, I was thinking the same thing as actually just heading over here. All right, Firelight VG6, starting in three, two, one. Here we go. All right, head over to the panel, and we will silence that. And the exceeders are going to do an extra thing, but we're good now. Um, let's see, should we just do pole stations or do you want to do any smoke detectors? Um, let's do that simplex key switch and then if we have time at the end, sure. Okay. Or we could do, or we could do the drill button on your enunciator. That is something we can totally do. All right, but we'll start with the key switch. Okay. Um. Grant and I were talking as I was getting this set up, and we were trying to come up with a way to. Uh, oops. Let's drop the keys. We we're trying to come up with a way to get the LED to light up without me running more wire. Um, we tried something. We got the LED to light up, but it wasn't enough of a voltage drop to make it go into alarm, unfortunately. So, um, <clears throat> the LED's not going to light up this time, but hopefully 
Hopefully in the future we can do that when we have the key switch out again. Uh, are you ready for it? Sure am. All right, let's do it. There we go. Yeah, I know, seriously. Here, let's take a look at the ceiling mount real quick. That is loud too. Oh my goodness. Yikes. Okay. There we go. Wow. I think that thing's set on high volume. Yeah, it sounded like it. Um, let's see, so I do the PG12LX that stays by the panel all the time. I mean, I, I can do that again, but I'm thinking maybe we can, uh, well, we should test the CO detector as always. Sure. So we'll hit that real quick. All right. That's working. Um, yeah, I have an Amesco beacon uh, hooked up, and that sits outside the room. So, if the uh, CO detector goes into alarm, um, it just causes a supervisory, and it's on zone one, as well as the control module. So, um, that control module makes the beacon light up. I see. And uh, it works pretty well. You should get, I think it's red, right? Yes. The beacon. Okay, you should get like a blue one or a green one. So it's different from red, which is fire. Right. You're right. That's I just don't question. have one. If, uh, if you do come across one, you should totally. For sure. That. Nah. For sure. Um, I actually just saw your BG6 up there and the uh, alarms you're showing off right now. Yeah, looks good. All right. Um, so you want to do drill function from the enunciator? Definitely. I love I love how the enunciator beeps when you push it. Yeah, I kind of wish the panel did something similar. I know. All right. So we're going to be... Well, let's reset from the enunciator, I guess, first. I guess before I reset, I should probably reset the pulse station. That would make sense. Because I don't think the drill function will do a manual evac while the uh, system's an alarm, will it? I think it does. I think it'll work, yeah. Oh, it well, let's work. try that then. Then we'll come back and reset things. I'm okay with whatever. Um, we didn't plan this out too much for the viewers watching. <laughs> All right. Let's see what happens. So I got the key in the enunciator, and we're going to flip it to drill. There we go. Holy cow. That sounds loud. You're right. It's very loud. And the Wheelock sync takes forever to actually silence. Um, all right, well, why don't we do this? We'll go reset that pulse station, and then we will uh, reset from the panel today, I think. Oh, I love all these strobes in sync. I'm going to have to show that off. It's so nice. I like it. It makes me so happy. All right. Audible is the best. What was that? Audible silence is the best. Audible silence and synchronization is wonderful. In my state, it's still code. They haven't adopted it yet. But um, in most places now, it's starting not to be code. I know. Well, that's a new NFPA for you. Yeah. So it's unfortunate because I really, really like selective silence. All right. Wow. That just sprung right back up. Okay. And we will close that up and uh, before I reset the panel I'll leave it up to you if you think we should hit any detectors or not I hit them often what, which detectors do you have um, 
I have an H355, which I can magnet test, and I have an SD355, which I've got some test smoke for. Um, let's, let's, let's do that heat detector, definitely. Sure, okay. Let's go ahead and get the magnet. And we will mag test the heat detector, and we'll be good. There it goes. All right. Silence. Okay. So we got the evac, pulse station by window exit, uh, above water heater for the duct or the heat detector. We have the zone monitor and the drill, and everything's silenced. All right. So we'll reset, and the strobes shut off for us, which is nice. I can't imagine that there's anyone watching my channel who isn't already subscribed to SER Safety. But in the off chance you haven't already checked out his channel, definitely go ahead and subscribe to him. He's got some great content and uh, I actually like the way he does his videos lately. Um, that What was that most recent video you did? That uh, you didn't do any talking, you just went right through it. I like oh, that. Oh yeah, the, the system test with my Unimode 5UD, or 10UD. Yes. Yeah, that's a little different style I'm trying out. Yeah, you know, I, I really like it. So he's trying out new things, keeping it uh, more interesting than most of us do, to be honest. Um, <laughs> if, if, you're, if you're watching Zach right now, and you've made it this far in the video, you'll definitely like his other videos. So definitely subscribe to him. Thank you very much. Um, we will... Uh, Kind of wrap it up here um i of course have a discord server set up for anyone who's interested in fire alarms that links in the description below as well as on the channel um i would like to encourage people to leave a like or dislike and tell me why if you dislike it um <coughs> you know that's fine and uh again check out ser safety subscribe to him if you want to subscribe to me leave comments below i like reading comments and uh I guess I'll see you guys in the next video, and I, I'm sure you'll be seeing videos from SER Safety very soon. See you later. Alrighty.